It's been an amazing first quarter for Japanese music in 2023, and so for a new format experiment, we're going to do a recap of those various moments from January to March 2023 that you may have missed or you may just want to recap again, which of course means there will be no more more metal because that was April the 1st. But um, anyway, if you like this format, I might just do these once every month. So tell me what you think in the comments. So given that we can't talk about that big news from Baby Metal, let's instead start by talking about the big news from Baby Metal, who released possibly the most anticipated Japanese album in memory, with the other one coming out in late March. After a wave of song releases, the full album came out to what seems to be really positive reaction from most fans, and I'll get into more of that soon as I'll be doing a track-by-track -track review of the other one on this channel. However, I'd say equal credit also has to go to their appearance on the popular YouTube channel, The First Take, where Sue and Moa did an amazingly chilled piano-based rendition of Monochrome, really allowing us to hear the beautiful delicacy of the song's arrangement, in my honest opinion, and also one of Sue's best ever vocal performances. The video even hinted at a third potential member, but more about that next month. You know, in case you've been living under a rock or something. <laughs> In other news, Wasata kicked off the year with quite possibly the catchiest song and video imaginable via Suman Inu, a song about a cat bullying a dog. It is absolutely brilliant fun and an amazing earworm. You must check it out if you haven't already. It's got a great video as well. This is just this is just like something that will bring such a smile to your face, and I'll be doing a review of that very soon as well. The ever-rising Love Bites were in full action, also finally releasing Judgment Day, their first album with new bassist Fami, who's really brought a charming fun to the like, sort of hard-rocking, regal power of Love Bites. It's great to hear the band's sound evolving slightly with her presence, but very much still knowing what their fans want and delivering on it. And also on their channel, they've got a great list of freely available songs from the album, so go check that out if you want to hear some hard, fast rock with a dramatic twist. And did I mention Wasser to have a person dressed as a dog in their video? Well, in other popular hard rocking news, after rounding out last year with the surprisingly colourful Seize the Fate album, Nemophila popped back to quickly follow it up with the single Rise, a charging song for their heavier fans, but showing that they're getting better at pairing their heavier sounds with a genuine sense of urgency and continuing their writing growth. And Wasta even had a picnic with that dog. Scandal, meanwhile, as probably Japan's most beloved long-running band, quietly put out the audio for a new track called Line of Sight before burying it with seven-year-old music videos on their YouTube. But hey, any scandal is good scandal, so go check out the finally re-released videos for the older songs, Sisters, Take Me Out, Koi Suru Universe, which had been hidden by copyright rules for years. And then after that, get hyped for Line of Sight and potentially a new Scandal album coming soon. But back more specifically to events definitely happening in this quarter, and Bang Dream had their sixth anniversary celebrations, including live performances and the release of Morphonica's debut album, Quintet, another item we'll be talking about soon on this channel, along with why Wasata odd-jobbed that dog's face off with a cake. And in other head injury news, we're all extremely relieved actually to hear of the ongoing recovery of Ayn at the end from Bish after suffering a serious head injury actually during a filming day seemingly. The 28 year old beloved singer has been posting regularly to keep fans up to date and seems to be making quite a good recovery, getting ready and warming up for her return. Earlier in the quarter though, she and Bish had released what appeared to be their last single in Bye Bye Show, after their previous last song, which it came at the end of that supposedly last run of songs, and prior to them now announcing yet another last song that came out this month in April called Innocent Arrogance. Uh, yeah, so maybe it'll never end. We love Bish, but make this clear. Still, anyway, Bye Bye Show was pretty good as a nostalgic music song, you know, lovely rock and roll that kind of gives the vibe of what you'd expect at the end of a band's life, even if, who knows, it'll never end. Certainly not considering their ever cynical talent agency, WAG announced the search for a new next Bish, um, which was really kind of, I thought it was a little bit inappropriate doing this right as we're having the cool down for the current Bish. It just feels like you're not giving them a chance to finish before announcing a new one, but whatever, hopefully that'll lead to something good as well. Fingers crossed, it'll be different, could be something interesting for whatever next Bish will be. 
By contrast to all that nostalgia, unlucky Morpheus took an unusually upbeat swing with their song Amaryllis, continuing a list of infectiously catchy songs in recent months. And Wednesday Campanella had a new song and video overflowing with ideas and personality as usual, but this time telling a variation of the Little Red Riding Hood tale to an extremely modern and infectious beat. These are two brilliant, creative, and very different songs for people who like a bit of depth to their catchiness. I definitely would recommend checking both of these out as well. But hey, before we talk about more bands, let's take a quick side step to talk about some channel news, where after months of wait, our sister channel Lyric Learner has finally opened and proceeded to have no content about lyrics. However, plenty of botchy The Rock reviews and major love from kindly anime fans who trust me more than they should do. I love you, the guys have been brilliant, the reactions, the comments have been wonderful, and the number of subscribers is rising very quickly, so thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone over on Lyric Learner. No, with no lyrics. Back with the music news, and we need to be talking about what the remnants of Lady Baby have been doing this quarter. See, having gone through three totally different incarnations and breaking up more times than I can possibly remember, they've continued all of this confusion and madness, but whilst dropping some rather cool little bits of news along the way. Founding members Ray and Rie returned to create a new group called Ray Rie because of course they did, and released the fan-pleasing song Rabbits, along with an awesome live show and an album announcement. Meanwhile, the members of Third Reinvention Lady Baby, who haven't joined New Lady Baby or transferred to Passcode, are you following? Uh, announced a search for new members and a restart to activities, but whilst including something called Heroines, I don't know what this is about, can we just call it Lady Baby and make it like the last iterations? Because that would be so awesome and I would be very excited. Anyway, they highlighted a focus on J-pop, idol, rock, metal, hip-hop, and etc. And if they can make all of that work, this could be quite incredibly interesting. Maybe even as interesting as Waster's approach to animal hygiene. But last and certainly not least, the impossibly hard-rocking maids of Bandmaid have been gigging heavily, including opening for Japanese old-school rock supergroup The Last Rock Stars at their sellout shows in the States. But as great as that might have been for publicity, my highlight was the release of the super chilled, instantly catchy and filled with quality song, Memorable, that once again demonstrated how the maids are just as good at variation as they are at rocking out. It's pure quality through and through. Believe me, if you like your hard rock, if you like your chilled, if you like rock, pop, anything, if you're listening to this kind of channel, you need to be checking out Memorable by Band Maid. You won't regret it. I, well, if you do, I'm sorry. I, what's wrong with you? Thanks for watching this, guys. Those are my picks for the interesting things that I wanted to talk to you about from the first quarter. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people in the comments telling me what they think, but also telling me about things I've missed. I'm sorry for anything I missed. I tried to count everything I could. Of course, I am looking forward to hopefully doing these once a month. So if you'd like to give me suggestions for things that you want me to cover in future months, then join our Discord. And if you join our Discord, then you'll be able to DM me, send me ideas. And if I can think of something to say, I will add it for each one of our monthly little recap review things. Anyway, thank you for joining me here in the boardroom in Japan for this review of the first quarter of 2023. I look forward to seeing you very soon. There's more reviews coming out. Thank you so much for waiting. I know the content has been a little bit sparse recently, but we will be catching up. That's what I've got all this coffee for. So until I hopefully see you in Japan very soon for the next one of these, for now, ciao, ciao.